Hi everyone, welcome to this my latest little video. Now this is the first of what I hope might turn into a series of mini videos. Um, I'm not saying that I'm qualified to give advice or things like that, but I'm hoping that um, some of my experience might be of benefit. So I want to see uh, that these videos are kind of motivational, inspirational I suppose. Um, a lot of people, so like when I write things on social media, they say to me, "Oh, we should, you know, you should get that out to more people." So this is me braving the camera <laughs> um, and trying to talk to more of you. Um, and this first one's about sort of reassurance, and it, it affects I see, something I see affecting a lot of beginners, um, but also those of us that are, you know, several years into our artistic journey. Um, and it's basically that we all, well, most of us, speaking for myself and other artists I know, we all have our creative blocks, we all have our own um, fears, um, doubts about our work, uh, about ourselves. Now, creating art, if you work from home or from like a studio like me, it's a very, it can be a very lonely place, very blinkered, you get very focused on that one piece that you're working on and sometimes you can't see anything else. And I know I see people, sort of especially beginners on social media platforms saying, I'll see them start a piece and then the next day it's like, oh no, 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 that one's sort of, that one's gone in the bin or that was rubbish and things like that. And you can see where patience, um, especially with colour pencils, is huge, huge learning curve and I don't think it's something we ever stop learning. With every piece that I create, um, and there's been a few, <laughs> um, I like to think that every piece that I create gives me a challenge and in turn that challenge I can come up against a bit of a brick wall, creative block, creative wall, whatever you want, to, my, my creative colourful wall behind me. Um, <laughs> in seriousness, um, yeah, you, I come up against my own creative block, I get to a point where I'm just thinking, oh my god, this is awful, and it can be like, after a couple of hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, I can be sort of, like with my snow leopard at the moment, I'm, I don't know, 90% through, I know that one more really good session will see the snow leopard come to completion. At the moment though, I had a couple of creative blocks last week because if you're working on commissions, you usually have a deadline. You also have your client's expectations of what they think, you know, they hope that you're going to live up to after seeing your other work. Uh, they want to see that end result that they've got in their mind. There's also your own expectations, which I think are the greatest ones of all, and they put the most pressure on you to perform. And I think sometimes, I mean, we're humans, like I said before, if you're working on a piece, it's a very lonely place. If all you're focusing on is that one piece, you can just become so blinkered, you can't step back and see it for what it is. You can't see all the positives about it, all you start focusing on are little negatives, or that's not quite right, and that's not turned out quite like I want it to. Stop. That's when I say stop, and I'm terrible for taking my own advice, but when I'm at workshops I say to people, stop, get up, walk away, get a cup of tea, um, take a longer break, go walk the dogs leave it overnight, leave it for a couple of days, work on something else, work on something completely different, go and do a bit of gardening, anything, just take yourself away from frustration because otherwise you will take that frustration out on your piece. Now sometimes I do push on through, obviously at the moment I've got my snow leopard I'm working on, last week I got a little bit frustrated, but with experience you start to recognise in your own mind whether it's just, I don't know, your mind's wandering, you're thinking, oh, I could go and do a bit of this or something there. 
And with this one, I'm, it's for a tutorial. So I've got the pressure of that. I know I've got to create a tutorial. It's for Patreon. So I know I've got a lot of people waiting. And I'm, I'm having to video the whole thing. So I'm having to work methodically, and which is quite unnatural for how I work. So I'm putting myself under a lot of pressure. Now, I recognise that pressure now. So sometimes um, I'll push on through. I'll go, no, 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 Lisa, this is just in your own mind. You can push on through this. So I will, I'll push on through. I'll maybe get a cup of tea, literally take 10 minutes, and then come back refreshed. However, two days ago, I tried to do this, and I appreciated that, mm, no, for this, before I do this last chunk on the snow leopard, I need to take more than a couple of hours break. I need to come back, complete fresh eyes, and approach it with gusto, I guess, um, and really go for that last couple of hours that I'm going to spend on her. And then, like I say, I will see her afresh, I will finish off all of those bits um, that need um, attending to, and then I'll rework her from top to bottom. She still might not quite be finished, I might still pop her to one side, and then come back and do little tweaks. Those little tweaks might take five minutes, they might take half an hour, sometimes there won't be any tweaks needed. I guess what I'm trying to say is stop putting yourself under so much pressure to perform. Who are you performing for? Yourself? Other people on social media? It's not all about all the likes that you can get or how many comments you can get. It's about self-satisfaction. It's about, if it's a commission, it's about satisfying your client. In fact, over, over, meeting over their expectations, sort of, when you make a client cry or you make them speechless, that is when you know that you have done your job well. If it's a commission piece or, I know, I, I, I am my worst, own worst enemy. I can give this advice and give you the wealth of the experience that I've got. Um, I am terrible for taking it, but I am trying. What's, what's good for me is by making this video and advising you, I know that when I get frustrated now, I will think of this video and go, hang on Lisa, how about taking a bit of your own advice, take a break, take a walk, come back with fresh eyes, positive eyes, and stop beating yourself up quite as much. So, moral of the story, uh, <laughs> patience, don't be so hard on yourself, plan ahead, like I say, try and give yourself, if you're working to a deadline, try and make sure you're working way ahead of that deadline, so if you, excuse me, if you, um, if you find that you need to take a day's break, that you've got that planned into your schedule, um, but that way there's less pressure, I mean, if, if you're, and, and talk to your client, if you're running a little bit behind, um, or you're, you know, whatever it is you're trying to create, obviously if you've got a deadline of entering an exhibition, that's different, you can't move that deadline, but normally talk to your client, um, speak to whoever it is you're working for, and tell yourself, I mean, is there something else that you can do, like with me, I've always got tons of admin work to do, well if I stop my drawing, I'm not losing time if I go <coughs> and work on, oh, excuse me, if I go and work on some admin work, because at the end of the day, it's all time that I would be using somewhere else to finish my work, you know, sort of, there's always something else that you can do, so whether, if, if you're not doing this as a business, um, I don't know, go off and do a bit of housework, <laughs> a bit of shopping, sit on the sofa and watch, I don't know, watch some trashy movies or something, whatever it is else that you enjoy doing, go and do that, for me often it's walking the dogs, anyway, moral of the story, I've rambled on way too much, um, and it seems like I'm starting to enjoy talking to the camera, not. Okay, right, that is uh, my first little sort of motivational talk, reassurance, um, a little bit of advice from my words of wisdom. So, 
Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you tune in again, and you don't all think I'm mad as a box of frogs. Okay, thank you, and goodbye.